going on guys welcome back to another youtube video and today i'm going to be showing off a couple of new things that i've made for lumen so first up we have the introduction of lumen utility so this is my new utility where you can pretty much optimize yourself within 10 to 15 minutes with ease there's a one button that will optimize everything for you or you can go do it all manually and i'll show you the utility here in a second Next up, we have Lumen Auto ISO. This is a tool I developed. It's sort of like Rufus, but if you don't have a USB, it uses partitions to reset. And then we just have a spec checker. And both of these, Auto ISO and spec checker, you can find in files in my Discord server. And that's discord.gg slash lumen. I'll have a link in the description for that. Now, I'll just quickly go through all of them and we'll save the best for last, which is Lumen Utility. So we have the spec checker first. This is just a little pop-up that shows you your current specs. You know, it's a good tool for easily getting info if you need it. And that's pretty much it. Now we have the auto ISO. So what this is going to do is it's going to let you select a ISO folder. So I'll just select something random. Uh, so it'll do it for us here. But it's going to make a partition for you so as you can see it's going to shrink one of my partitions and it just made this 10 gigabyte partition and then it's going to drag the files onto here just like this now this would be your iso files obviously i didn't pick an iso but here you go it's dragging over all the files and as we can see if we go into system configuration then we can go to boot it's going to also make this lumen win pe boot and set it as default so what this does is once you restart your pc it's going to automatically boot you under this partition so you won't have to set up anything in bios or advanced options and it's just a very easy way to reset your pc so now that we've gotten through the auto iso tool let me show off the utility a bit so this utility goes for around $30 on my website. You can get a lifetime key for that price. And there will be a lot of updates to it down the road. I'll add more stuff. But for now, we have our home page where you have all of your system stats. You have a optimization progress that shows you how much the utility has optimized your system. I'm on an unoptimized Windows right now, so that's why we're at zero. But... If I wanted to fully optimize it, I could just click here and click Run Optimization. You see we have a little window. Now, if you are going to do something like Advanced, you are probably going to lose more functionality for things like MS Store and Updates and Defender. So if that's something that you need, then I wouldn't do it, and I would just stick with Standard as it's the option that's going to work for everybody. And then for BIOS, you can choose Intel or AMD. And for GPU, you can choose NVIDIA or AMD as well. And this will just run through a full optimization on your computer. It might take up to about 10 to 15 minutes because it has to import a lot of BIOS settings and download certain things. Like for the timer res, it has to download the distributables for you, etc. So it, it takes about you know 10 minutes on average to fully optimize your system. But then you can restart and you would be fully done. Now I'll go through some of these pages briefly. So we have for Windows System Restore, Activate Windows, Update Control, Timer Res, Boot Tweaks, Power Plan, FS Utility Tweaks, which is File System. We have Input Tweaks, Network Tweaks, Explorer Tweaks, Game DVR slash Game Bar, XHCI Mod, Privacy and Telemetry Removal, Security Tweaks, UAC Control and full Windows settings, which just goes through a bunch of, you know, Windows settings that I would normally do, like turning off certain themes, you know, animations, etc. And next up we have dbloat. Here you can disable your device manager stuff. You can do services, which has an option for advanced or standard. And same with the scheduled tasks. And um, for uninstall apps, we have all these that we can select. And that is still going to be updated to better remove some apps. You know, I'll probably add even more apps to it in the next update and make it an even more in-depth debloat. But right now, it gets you to around 70 processes with, you know, a very debloated Windows. 
Now, next up, we have registry. You got audio, graphics, memory management, NDIS, power tweaks, priority tweaks, session manager, plus kernel and system profile tweaks. This is pretty much everything that was included in my previous sessions with registry. And the same goes for Windows with some more stuff added. But yeah, so you have a, a lot of different options when it comes to registry. For GPU, we have three for each type of GPU, whether you're NVIDIA or AMD. You can apply a NIT profile, disable power savings, and do registry straight from here. For AMD, you know, MSI mode, power savings, and full registry. Now for BIOS, we have things like C-states and power settings, or you can just do a full BIOS optimization, whether you are Intel or AMD. For quality of life, we have things like wallpaper, alt tab, dark theme, file extensions, hide search, in task context, Win 10 context menu, Win 11 context menu, return to BIOS, that's what RTB means, context menu button. So this would be like if you right click, you can see we have restart to BIOS here. And then the rest of these like command prompt, control panel, group policy, that's what would be the custom context menu. And then in extras, we have a couple more things, whether you want to disable Wi-Fi, debug Discord, apply a Fortnite config or Marvel Rivals config. You can use power plan import, which this doesn't import the Lumen power plan, but it gives you an option. If you want to import other plans, all you have to do is right click and click import. Makes it super easy to import power plans, and it's just a nice quality of life type feature to have, but it's more of a uh, registry thing, so that's why I put in extra tweaks. And then lastly, we have Brave and Google Dblow which will just add some settings to Brave or Google to make it more lightweight and run less resources in the background. And then we have to save a Bluetooth, which is pretty self-explanatory. So I hope I've showed you guys, you know, pretty much everything you could want with the Lumen utility and my other new free tools, which you can again find in my discord at discord.gg slash Lumen. And yeah, if you want to check out the utility, just go to lumentweaks.com. From there, you can buy an authorization key with instant delivery. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I'm going to start getting on my upload grind again more, so expect more videos from me. And I thank you for making it to the end of the video. I will catch you all later.